Oh, shit! So this is the famous Sullivan Tower, home to Sullivan's Style Factory. Sally wasn't exaggerating, it's huge! Oh, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to thank her for introducing me to Mr. McAllister. I really hope everything goes well for her and her animals. Oh, I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name's Clara Willard. Oh shit, sorry. It's my first day at Sullivan's Style Factory. Direct Clara to the building entrance using the arrow keys. Up to go forward, left and right to turn. <gasps> arrow keys. Arrow. Keys, you can also use the mouse. Move it in the direction you want to go, then left click to move forward. You can also make Clara run by holding down the right mouse button or the shift button on your keyboard. Now, over to you. They see me twisting. They see me turning. They see me using arrow keys. All right, girl. Hello, Clara. Welcome to Sullivan Style Factory. Hi. There you are, Carol. I was waiting for you outside. Sorry about that. And for once, I was early. So, your big day has finally arrived. Yep, my heart's beating like crazy. To land a work placement at Sullivan Style Factory is every young stylist's dream. I know. I felt just like you the first time. Anyway, you must have loads of questions for me. Well, whatever it is you want to know, just ask. That's what I'm here for. Oh my god! Uh, holy crap! It's she is it's Smack Queen. It looks just like Smack Queen. If you guys watch my Clueless playthrough, oh my god, Smack Queen made it, dude. Smack Queen is trying to make it in the fashion world, and here she is. She motherfucking made it, but her real name. She got to use her real name in professional situations. To ask Carol a question, click on the question of your choice. I'd love to hear a bit more about you and your company or career at Sullivan's Style Factory. I'd love to know more about the company. Who do you work with? Tell me about your colleagues. Um, I'd love to. Let's get her talking about herself. People love to talk about themselves, you know, because they know a lot about that. I'd love to hear a bit more about you and your career at Sullivan's Style Factory. And we get oh, it's to pretty know straightforward. Sullivan. I started out just like you. McAllister, the school's director, recommended me for a work placement at Style Factory. It wasn't easy in the beginning. I really had to work hard, but gradually I managed to climb the ladder and now I'm the boss's assistant. What? Congratulations, you've done really well for yourself. I'd love to know more about the company. Style Factory is a multinational company in the cosmetics and pret-a-porter sector. <laughs> it was founded by Nelson Sullivan, who still runs the company. Our products are sold all over the world. We have over 600 stores in the United States alone. The headquarters are here in New York. Who do you work with? Tell me about your colleagues. A lot of people work for Style Factory. I, I certainly don't know all of them. The managing director is Nelson Sullivan. He founded the company. His son Scott and his wife Kim work alongside him. Here, take this before you go any further. It's a personal assistant. You'll find it really useful. Everyone here has got one. OMG, we're getting the personal assistant. We're gonna have cell phones in this, in this, I guess they just don't have cell phones. They don't have smartphones. Oh, we got the personal but assistant. But I don't even know how to use one. You'll learn, it's not hard. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to the directors of Style Factory. Nelson Sullivan and his wife and son have just returned from a business trip. Their helicopter will be landing any minute now. Follow me. Oh my god, moving is actually so weird in this game. Now I'm, I'm I'm walking into plants. I'm not drunk. I didn't show up to the interview drunk. I'm sorry. Your badges, please. Where does lips go? Badge? What badge? You need a badge to use the lift. It's a security measure. Well, thanks for letting me know now, Carol. But I haven't got one. It's my fault. I forgot to give you one. Go on, Mike. Be a sweetheart and let her in anyhow. It's out of the question, young lady. These are the new security measures. Um, fucking excuse me, Carol is, uh... <laughs> Whoa, did he just say no to her? Okay. Wait here, Claire. I'll just go and get your badge from the design workshop. I'll be right back. It won't take me a second. 
Jeez. Okay. Now you're in control of Carol. Oh my, what? Go to the design workshop on the 20th floor and bring Clara back her badge. Oh man, oh man, character change, character change, character change. She's also not drunk on the job, totally not drunk on the job, totally not. Totally not walking like I have to take a fat shit. She got big feet, wow. Maybe it's just her boots. All right, all right. Let me in here. This is Sullivan's private lift. It takes you down to the basement, but you need to, oh, well. And maybe it should say private fucking lift with a sign and not look like a legit lift. People are gonna get confused. Oh, great. The door's locked. Man, Carol, you need to get your shit together. You have nothing you need. She has nothing she needs. Oh, it's that F5 to open inventory? Oh, oh. Wow. So unnecessary, honestly. That was such an unnecessary thing for us. That does have to make it way more difficult than it needs to be. All right, where's that badge at? Oh, there it is. I see it right here. The badge has got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Now I can head back to the lobby. Clara must be getting impatient. Dude, Clara's probably shitting her pants nervous. Is it the lobby just the basement? Basement and lobby are like two different things, game. For fuck's sake. This is not the basement. It's the lobby. Oh my god. <laughs> turn. I can't turn my mouse that way. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh my word, the movement is so obnoxious. I think I'll just switch the arrow keys in a second. <laughs> you have no business being here. Do you want to be fucking fired? Do you want to be fucking fired? I'm the boss's assistant, little bitch. What do you mean I have no re- Hold oh, this. <laughs> I'll have I'm telling on you. Are you kidding me? This asshole. Oh, oh. Well? Clara, I found your badge. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Thank you. You gotta click Don't with the mouse. For this, You've though. only got one. I'll be careful. Promise. Oh, I guess they can't print more badges out. That would be too difficult. Alright, Mike. Try me now, bitch. Okay. Have a nice day, young ladies. Fucking asshole. You too, Mike. And well done, you, for being so conscientious. <laughs> oh no, we're late. I promised Mr. McAllister that we'd be there to meet the Sullivans on their arrival. Oh, Mike. It looks like you just made us late for very important clientele. Say goodbye to your fucking job. Enjoy your last fucking day. Uh, hold on. Little Before shit. we go and meet them, could you tell me a bit more about them? What else would you like to know? Tell me about Nelson Sullivan. Nelson Sullivan is a living legend. Did you know that a magazine has just ranked him as the world's eighth richest man? Not a day goes by without an article about him appearing in the tabloids. But what the papers don't tell you is that this eccentric individual in his colorful getups is a formidable businessman. When he created Style Factory 12 years ago, no one believed in his idea. Today, his group is the market leader in cosmetics and Pret-a-Porter. What else would you like to know? What's Scott like? What's Scott like? Scott doesn't have a good reputation at Style Factory. <gasps> Scott, Everyone thinks no. he's a spoiled brat, and it's certainly true that he's never wanted for anything. After all, when your name's Sullivan, money is no object. But I think people are wrong to judge Scott on his money and sports cars alone. He's also a very sensitive young man with a real artistic talent. It's a pity he's so shy. I'd like to get to know him better. What else would you like to know? I'd like to know more about Kim. Kim Doherty is a former actress turned businesswoman. <laughs> she never really made it in Hollywood. Some people would go so far as to say she was no good. Anyway, since she started working oh, for Style Factory, damn. she certainly found her niche. Damn, the diss on Kim. 
Does she live with Nelson Sullivan? Sex dialogue better work. Yes, Sullivan was married before, but his wife died in a car accident two years ago. Since then, he's remarried to Kim Doherty, whom he absolutely worships. Scott, on the other hand, can't stand her. He thinks she's a bad influence on his father. Hurry up. I'll meet you at the heliport. But I don't even know where that is. It's on the building's roof, of course. Use the map on your personal assistant to find your way there. <laughs> Where's the helipad or the heliport? I usually call them helipads. On the roof. God, where else would it be? In the basement? So here's our map then. Bye, dickwad. Fucking dickwad. You, ha you have no business being here. Look at this ass, Mike. You're never gonna get it. Fuck you, loser. Ah, oh, Clara, there you are. Mr. McAllister, I'm so nervous. You're understandably a little anxious, but don't worry. Nelson Sullivan is a friend of mine. To pull a muscle in their finger. That is a work hazard, Kelly, and they can take you to HR for bringing it up. Imagine the audacity of making someone actually do their work. Nelson, hello! This Not is here. Cute. The engines are making such a racket. Let's go to my office. <laughs> oh, oh my, holy shit, Jesus. Whoa. Well, Nelson, I'd like to introduce you to Clara Willard. She's one of Imagine Fashion oh. Designer's best students. I trust your judgment, Charles. You've got a knack for sniffing out new talent. So, young lady, you're going to be working with us? Well, uh... Don't be shy. Here at Style Factory, we're all one big family. This is my wife, Kim, who runs the cosmetics department, and my son, Scott, who's in charge of the fashion design department. What would you like to do here? Clara's a very Fuck your promising kids. designer. <laughs> I thought she your could be the design team. Oh, wait, that's his wife, not his. his that was his the son, that was his team, wife. Is that all? Well, come to think of it, why not? After all, all the great designers had to start somewhere. Okay, it's a deal. You start today. Carol, would you see to this young lady's details, please? Of course, Mr. Sullivan. Perfect. Now, if it's all right with you, I've got work to do. Clara, it's been a pleasure meeting you. This evening, we're having a cocktail party for the launch of our new cosmetics line, Eclat Ardon. I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Mr. Sullivan. A really good looking family. Now we're going to move on to the serious stuff. After being trained in our workshops, I'm going to ask you to work for Style Factory's clients. If your designs are of a high enough standard, your reputation will blossom and you could become fashion's young hope. There's a child repeatedly ringing my doorbell and then his little sister started smacking him for doing it and now they're running away. I don't think they were fans. They're pretty young and they looked like they were selling something. All right, looks like they're headed to the next house. I guess he liked my fancy little doorbell. I want to ring it a bunch. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Stalker Kelly. I got cams. I got cameras all around. Believe me, so many fucking freakos. I mean, these were just children, but I mean, we being living with a big YouTuber is scary, honestly. They get a lot of freakos. <laughs> little brat. Little brat. <laughs> I'm going to find who his parents are and show the footage. All right. Oh, shit. We can move again. All right. Try not to look drunk. Try not to look drunk. Hey, boo. How you, how you doing, Steve? Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Oh, God. I would wetten that little. All right. There's tasks here. Learn the basics of the design workshop with a small mission. Sleek professional. She's the number one businesswoman in America. Clara, making moves. We can dream. Scott, are you in your office? Look. Looky, looky. Looky, looky. Hey, girl. How are you doing? Oh, he's looking. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. You like that? You like watching this? You like it? Oh, yeah, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Carol. Hello, Clara. Would you do me a favor? 
Yes? Of course. Well, the thing is, I'm trying to get together a new book to take around to the fashion houses, but I'm missing a few photos. Which ones? The ones of the clothes I designed at Imagine Fashion Designer. I've got no idea where they are. Do you think you could have a look for them? They must be somewhere around here. There's clothes right there. I'll try my best, Carol, but I'm not promising anything. Oh, How photos. many photos were there? Five. Okay, I'll have a look. Thanks. It's really kind of you. I feel like my job is basically just do all the shit no one wants to do. Hi, Scott. Wait, Clara's book. Welcome to your book. This is where you can file and showcase the photos you've taken in the photography workshops and catwalks. Okay, cool. Well, we didn't do any of that yet, so irrelevant right now. No, that isn't what I asked you to do. Oh, okay, fine. Perfect. Now your page is all ready for two portrait photos, but it's still lacking decoration. Got to decorate it? Okay. I like the only I only like the heart portion of this one. And half photos. Sorry, but I don't think we've got anything more to say to each other. Fine. All right, I got to find your pictures. There's a picture right here. I wonder if the pictures will be like obvious, like floating, or if you really have to sort of find them. A wall socket? Well, I've got nothing to plug in for now. <laughs> well, all right. Sorry, I might have got a little too loud in the mic there. I don't know why I was so, my voice, I'm just loud, okay. There's a picture, I think. Yeah, got one. Easy, oh, the puppy. <gasps> Gimme, gimme, gimme pups, gimme puppy. Hi, oh wait, hello Marty. <gasps> Hi, uh, I can, that's all I can say is hello to you, so good day. Oh, hello boss, I'm the new girl. Clara, have you got a minute? <laughs> I have more than a minute for you, Nelson. Of course, Mr. Sullivan. Well. I've been in talks with my shareholders about the visual image of Style Factory, and we've decided to change it. What we need is a younger, more dynamic, and eye-catching logo. What do you think? Well, I'm no expert, but... I've got a job for you. We need to make a list of all the Style Factory logos that are visible in the building, so that we can replace them when the time comes. Off the top of my head, I think there are four of them. Could you take care of that? I'll get on it immediately. Great. Come and find me when you're finished. Stop all... bothering me every two seconds. Oh! It's driving me crazy. Just come and find me once you've found all four logos. Oh my... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just got yelled at by the boss. Oh my... It scared me. <laughs> oh god now i look drunk no i'm just trying to get out the way is there anything over here holy shit oh my god look at her fucking suit oh my god it's ugh it's really ugly and logos Ooh! Oh, hi! Sorry, but I need to finish getting ready. Okay. Um, you're posing. No one's here. New girl. <laughs> this looks so stupid. Wait, what was that? So, did you find the photos for my book? Not all of them, but I'm still looking. At least she didn't yell at me. Can we fall to our death? Holy shit, can I take the helicopter for a spin? Darn, I can't. Too bad. Fuse box? Why are you fucking that with that? looks like it could be a fuse box. I don't know the first thing about them. I better not touch it. Yeah, you better not. Stop fucking around, Carol. 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 
Carol, Clara, <laughs> Jesus. It's on the 12th floor. Ooh, coffee. What? What? Oh, it's just a common room. If I set off the alarm for no good reason, I'll definitely get fired. Uh, I guess. A sugar bowl. Oh, there's only one sugar cube left. I can't eat that. <laughs> Clara! <laughs> you don't need to eat the sugar cube anyways. What are you doing, girl? Oh my god, this is like, this is really nice. That's cute. Where the hell did Carol put her freaking... Can you go outside? They got a pool? They got a freaking pool at work? Yo, this is nice as fuck. I don't want to lose my job here. Excuse me, I need to make a call. I'm oh, sorry. Come back later. I've got work to do. Aw, I don't think we can swim. Damn it. All right. So that's a pool area. Is it? Oh, wait, are it these low? Oh, I thought that was just like decoration, the old logo. I thought we were going to have to find like design plans. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize it was those logos. I thought those are the... Because those are already the logo. Well, that makes sense, I guess. All right, I'll, I'll grab it from the roof next time. Oh, I want to go in the online library game. What is that? Is that a bong? Who brought their bong to work? Oh, a bubble, a gumball machine. Sweet pot. Hey, I didn't know there were sweets made in the shape of the Sullivan Tower. Oh, there's only one left. I'd better leave it for now. Um, okay. Is there one left of fucking everything and I never get my sweets? Or my sugar cubes? Here's another logo. Card machine. An old and dusty card machine? I can't do anything with that for now. Oh, yo, let's, let's dox Goodness, the employees. The staff list with all of their phone numbers. But that's of no use to me right now. They fire me. I'm putting them online. Yo, can I leave? Let's see if we can go to like uh, the shops on the street. I'm just trying to get like understand. Yeah, see, this is already the logo. What the hell? Wait, I can. Can I go shopping? Fuck work. <laughs> We're going shopping. Time for a shopping spree. Have your tokens at the ready. Now's the time to extend your wardrobe, jewelry box, and makeup kit. Come on. Okay. I get paid in tokens. That doesn't seem very fair. Hang on. This game is sort of mean when you do what it doesn't want you to do. Like the boss yelled at us. The like info thing yells at you if you click something else. What are those? Hang on. No, that isn't what I asked you to do. Okay, I'm sorry. Short panties. Strapless bra with ribbon detail. Ooh, fishnet knee-high socks. My short panties. End it. All right, well, I guess that's shopping. Let's go. I think all the Clara photos were actually just all on the 25th floor. I just probably missed one. All right, I gotta drop by the roof to get that logo. Yeah, I want to know how to change my clothes so I can wear my panties to work and really impress everyone. I knew that! I felt like that was a photo and I tried to get it so many times you had to be right here and not in front of it. I kept trying to grab it like over here. I could have... Oh, darn you, game. All right, we good. Let's go to Carol. Carol, I have your pics. So, have you found the photos? Brilliant. Wow, they really take me back. Imagine fashion designer, the teachers, the drawing lessons. It all seems such a long time ago now. I wonder how the school's doing. I haven't really heard from them since I started my placement. Mr. McAllister updates me every now and again. From what he says, it's been a good year for the Imagine fashion designer. There are some really talented students in the new class, and of course, they all want to get a placement at Style Factory. It's going to be a hard choice. Does Mr. McAllister often visit Style Factory? Almost every day. He gets along really well with Nelson Sullivan. I think they're even planning on creating a brand together for young talents called New Vision or something like that. Imagine fashion designer will definitely play a big role in that. Thanks for the scoop, Carol. No problem. 
Oh, wait, why am I answering like I'm Carol? <laughs> I was reading a text and I was listening to the game and I answered the character as if I was Carol. Like, no problem, girl. The hell is wrong with me? Why do they keep, they like promo the game's name? Like, obviously we already bought it. Weird. Carol isn't very talkative. Sorry. But Damn it, he still won't talk to me. I'm like, I'm treating, I'm treating this like it's supple and I'm supposed to be hitting on everyone. This is a professional game, okay? I need to calm down. All right, let's go to Nelson. I have all the logos. Oh my God, I hope he doesn't yell at me again in case I forgot one, but I'm pretty sure I have them all, but I'm so scared to talk to him now. I was told you'd found all the logos. <gasps> let's have a look. Oh, I think you just might have. Well done, Clara. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. <sighs> it feels funny replacing this logo. It was me who designed it, you know, 15 years ago. Back then, Style Factory was just a small family business that made homemade soap out of beeswax. We were the first to do that in the United States. Oh my God, iconic, Nelson. Unfortunately, the customers just snapped them up. Our turnover had gone up five times by the third year. And of course, you know what happened next. Oh my God, yeah, all the bees are dead. So, in the beginning, you didn't make clothes? Not at all. To launch a collection, you need a lot of money. We just didn't have that kind of cash back then. It was only years later, thanks to the profits made from our cosmetics line, that we were able to move into the Pret-a-Porter sector. I had no idea. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Well done. For completing this task, you've won two glass pendants, a green and yellow one. You've also been awarded 50 tokens. Hey, we getting them tokens. This is kind of a scam if I'm being paid in tokens, though, for real. And I can only buy company fashion with my tokens? Uh, I'm trying to make money, <laughs> not tokens. I can spend at the fucking company. The, oh, the bees are making a comeback. Well, that's good. So I've done everything I need to do. Mommy promised no more drinking. She's drunk. The character's drunk. Look how she runs. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, we should steal all the jewelry and sell it for real money, not damn tokens. Yo, 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 yo. What we do? Hit the alarm. Everyone thinks there's a fire. They leave. We go in the jewelry department steal all the jewelry and we're good bye done easy i think i need things to do mr McAllister. excuse me i need to make will you let me do things come back later i've got work to do damn i'm literally i'm like useless here i don't got shit for me to do wait hold on pull this is of no use to me right now can we drown ourselves in the pool here are the details of the, ta of the task you've just chosen. Let's have a look at them. The list of objectives of the design, design workshop. This information is important. It tells you if you're missing any accessories, clothes, or anything else. But for now, don't worry about it. You've got all you need to complete your task. All right. Now I can finally do my first design workshop thingy. Hell yeah. Oh my. Oh my god. First design. Wow, there's our model. Wow. That's not what I asked you. To oh, I think it's going to like pretty much force us to do what it wants us to do. Oh, it just has our objectives here. I guess we don't really have to remember the Chinese dress on your model. Uh. 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 Yes, I guess. All right, now put some silk stockings on her his ass. Click on the stockings icon. <laughs> I wanted to put the socks. I'm going to be so happy when I have, like, freedom to do this. When you ask a professional's opinion, they'll let you know how well you've done in each objective. A green tick means good. An orange circle means average. A red cross means bad. Okay. Fair enough. Asian money! Asian money! Yes! Get that money. Alright, Asian coin. Wait, Asian coin or Asian money? Is the Asian coin the Asian money? Okay. 
happens here. Alright. Yeah, even this game has a color wheel. <laughs> Very basic color wheel, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Look. Look, there's different shades in the middle. Okay. I'm gonna click red. Uh, red. Uh, shades shirt. Say a say. <laughs> I really can't say my S's today. Like, I'm really struggling today. I don't usually struggle this much. Shade. <laughs> the shade circle. Mm. Now black on another part of... Now draw, drag and drop the black shade on the second area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, you'll see that the pattern icon that is currently selected for the stockings is a uniform color. Don't touch this. We're just going to change the color. We're going to change them to black. Okay. I'm trying the color. Validate. Oh my god, that giggle. Alright, so that was a tutorial. Yet another quality piece of work by Sullivan and Company. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, will this guy talked to me yet? Like. Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Oh my word. All right, we got a lot of workshops. Let's do the cat. Well, let's do them in order. Oh, wait, no. Should I do them in order? I guess I'll do them in order. Carrot orange. Can I sign up for all of them at once? So it's easier. No, I can't. Darn. Okay. Well, at least it spawns me back on the basement floor so that I can go right to that. Welcome to the beauty workshop. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Together, we're going to look at how to prepare your model. Yeah. Don't tell me how to live my life. I wanted to write my name. Fine, I'll just write Kel. All right, hold up. Sorry, girl. I know you're probably gonna get zits now because I'm out of hand and out of control. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good though. All right, pretty good. If you go over the edges, you want to rub off any smudge makeup. Use the rubber tool. All right, got it. All right, good. Oh shit. Oh, we did that. All right, carrot orange eyeshadow. Turn you apricot. Oh shit, I don't know how to do makeup! They don't even tell you how to do makeup! I have no clue! Where do you put eyeshadow? You just put it here, right? I usually just use eyeliner! I'll like dab some fucking eyeshadow on at times, but... <laughs> That's where I put it though! I guess I was a little lower. I was putting it here, though. Now it's fine. An eyelid. I put it there. That's why he told me it was wrong the first time, though. <laughs> what about girls who don't know how to do makeup? They didn't explain it for us. Oh, right. We got two eyes, though. That's why it wasn't working. Oh, my God. I barely went over the edges. Fuck off. See, it tells me I'm fucking up. It's barely fucked up. Yeah, designers wouldn't do the makeup. But, but it doesn't ask me to use highlight. Wait, what does it say? Hazel contact lenses. Maybe that's it. They think my shit looks good. What the fuck? Where's the contact lenses? How does that? My shadow looks fine. How does that even... <laughs> Alright, you don't have to do it like real makeup just the way you had it before. Like, I think it looks good. Alright, maybe a little too much on this side. Eyeshadow, like, it has to be 100% perfect. I know I lost half a star removing it. And then when I go over it, they tell me I'm wrong. We need Christine. <laughs> Despite Christine's racism, she's way better at makeup than I am. Man, see, I would have thought all this shit is eyeshadow. You know? I, that's called highlighter, apparently. I have no fucking clue. My god, I am a shitty woman. <laughs> I'm a shitty woman. <laughs> the game is shaming me. <laughs> they didn't even tell me what to do. All the poor girls who suffered through this game and couldn't get past this point. <laughs> Your guy, you know what this shit is? <laughs> It won't let me go to the next part, even though, like, look, ask for an opinion. Like, it's orange because I actually got this one right, but I still don't have the hazel contact lenses. <laughs> but I can't get the hazel contact lenses because my eyeshadow apparently isn't good enough. Because, yeah, like, 
You can't like here. Wait. Great. All right, tell me again how I'm the problem. Tell me again how I'm the fucking problem, you motherfuckers. <laughs> tell me, tell me again. <laughs> being aggressive won't solve anything. Oh, I'm responding to all the people in chat who are being aggressive and telling me that I'm doing a shitty job and that when I tried everything and that it's not the game just being flat out ridiculous. Oh, can buy more. I wonder if they got the money signs like Cocoa Puffs had in um, high school dreams. She doesn't have any eyeshadow on though. Whoa. Oh, I just want to look at a game. I had more stars when I, I did the eyeshadow my way though. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate it. I really do. I had the I had gotten at least two stars when I did the eyeshadow my way. Then I take it all off. I do a dot on one of her eyes, and all of a sudden it works. <sighs> Jewelry workshop. Let's do it. This can't be hard. All right. Beads are organized into four main themes: costume, ethnic, princess, classic. All right. We need to select a bead from the list. Princess tab. Oh, that was easy. Can I put multiple? Aw, they don't let you mess around in these tutorials. Oh. <laughs> that was fast compared to the last one. Yeah, because the last one was broken. That really made no sense. Catwalk workshop. Ooh. How dare you, game. Ubisoft, we're coming for you. You can admire your model while she takes part in a fashion show. You don't need to direct your model. Sometimes the model will try and strike a pose or do a turn. You can help her with this. Oh, wow. Okay. She's on her way. Miles about to strike a pose. Now you need to take charge. As you can see, a series of buttons have just appeared. Okay. Now pose. Oh, what? I did that. This game is a scam. She does she does need lessons from Tara. Oh, you only gotta take one pick. Oh good one girl! photo, this ass photo, this photo, this photo. Wow, it's gorgeous. How, fat, how close can we get? How about a titty shot? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> I think they just want her shoulders and head. I'm going too much boobs. Keep that. The film studio ordered a costume for the heroine of a TV series set in the wild west. Oh my god, that's fun. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're in the fun shit. We're done with the tutorial bullshit. My dear, your boss, Mr. Sullivan has warmly recommended you, it would seem that you're the ideal candidate to design the costume of the character I'm going to play. I hope you know your stuff when it comes to cowboys. Oh, I know. I know all about cowboys. Don't you even worry about it. 
It's cute. Look at that. Even though that's not what this project is all about. Oh, we still have to get... Alright, no patterns or prints. I'm gonna make it a different color, though. Okay. It's like sequined, though. Hmm. I don't even like that. Oh, I know! Back to brown. I feel like that. Got that extra half star. Now we need a jeans with leather chaps and a fur and leather coat. Do I have chaps here? Okay! Let me have my freedom, please. Where did I get the chaps? With all their chaps. Jean colors. I, mean, I guess that's sorta. That's a little too. Mm. It needs to be dirtier. Ah, that works. All right. I feel like maybe I had to go to the shop and buy the, the chaps because they don't have them here. No, they don't. I don't see anywhere else? Right? Maybe. I don't know where stockings. What panty is? Yeah, see, there's the short panties I bought. I think maybe I had to buy those. That doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, I got a, we got an orange. Let's just get the coat right. Buy some assless chaps. I know, I should. I actually should. Coats. Short fur and leather. Perfect! Wait, we got other things, though. Oh, that's the only one that works. Well, there's this fur jacket, but that's only fur. Okay. How do I make it? I don't like the color of the jeans. Kelly supports fur. It's not real fur because it's in a video game and it's not technically real. So before you start that, no, it is actually vegan. Eating animals in game is vegan because they're not real animals. That's good, right? Yep. A cowboy hat, no other types. Good enough. That's what they want. What can we do better, though? I think it's just we're losing stars with the uh, chaps. I didn't buy those. I need to go to the store after this, I guess. I think you must have spent a lot of your childhood watching westerns on telly. It's plain to see that you're an expert in this area. I think you should. Gay for pay. How come you're like not dressed name. yet? Nelson Sullivan's waiting for us. What for? The cocktail party, of course. Oh, I completely forgot. It's been a lot to take on for a first day. Hurry up and don't forget your book. Nelson wanted to have a look at it. I'm coming. I'll just be a sec. Dear friends, we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the launch of a new line of cosmetics that will undoubtedly allow us to increase our stakehold in the under-25 market. Eclat Ardent, as it is known, is a revolution in the world of teenage cosmetics. We owe this success to Kim Doherty, the director of our cosmetics department. I would very much like to congratulate her here today. Thank you, thank you. I'm very flattered. Look at Scott Sullivan. He looks as if he's sulking. I told you those two don't get along. Good evening. You're not... Steve Anderson, yes. Do I know you? No, I'm sure you don't. I'm just starting a work placement at Style Factory. But I've seen all your films. You're a great actor. Kelly. I loved you and I'll be dead tomorrow. I'll be dead tomorrow. Oh my god. Jesus. Thanks. That's sweet of you to say so. Nikos Amadeus is just jealous. That's how sad the eyeshadow made me in this game. <laughs> I feel so embarrassed and whenever I try to be girly, I feel so embarrassed. Oh, whatever. It must be amazing to be an actor. It's tiring too. People don't realize how exhausting fame can be. All that signature signing, the celebrity parties and the high society dinners, not to mention all those girls chasing around after you. Sometimes I fantasize about being just another face in the crowd. But let's talk about you. So, 
You work for Style Factory. Well, sometimes I just fantasize about being on your face in a crowd. Not yet. I'm just on a placement. It's a start. Well, if you ever need any advice or helpful tips, I'll leave you my cell phone number. Don't think twice about calling me. Oh, I need a tip. I need a tip. <laughs> Thanks. It's really kind of you. So, Clara, chatting up my boyfriend now, are you? Oh, oh, um, <laughs> oh, sorry, Carol. I didn't know. Your boyfriend? <laughs> She's shook. <gasps> Your boyfriend? Yes, Steve and I have been engaged oh. for two months now. You see, sweetie, fashion design is the path to happiness. Wow. Steve, will you leave my friend alone? She just got here and you're already all over her. Oh. But she was the one who came up to me. Um. Look, I had a casual fucking conversation with him, Carol. Like, how low is your self-esteem? I had a casual conversation with him. And yes, I did add commentary. But he doesn't understand. They don't understand that in the game. That was very casual. I did not flirt. Okay, I'll let you off this time. I did not flirt. It's amazing, Carol. Ever since I arrived at Style Factory, I feel like any minute now I'm going to wake up. Just look at the dresses, the dinner jackets, the jewelry. It's beautiful. Even the champagne tastes better here. Nelson Sullivan is a born show-off. It's just the way he is. When he organizes an event like this, he doesn't cut corners. But I must admit that the thrill of it soon wears off. I'm fed up with eating caviar and listening to the same old tunes. Hey. You wouldn't want to do me a favor, would you? Not really, after you snapped on me for having like a super, super, like just small talk conversation with your boyfriend. What? Change the record. The stereo's just over there. I feel like something a bit more romantic. Are you sure I'm allowed? Of course, no one will notice. And if you choose a song I like, I'll let you in on the latest Style Factory gossip. Well, if there's a reward thrown in, 